Hello, my friends. I'm going to do Dutch pour on the largest canvas I've attempted. This is a 24 by 30. Um, I was inspired by my friend Naomi in Santa Barbara. We met via YouTube here, and I've been to her house several times, and we painted together. And she likes big canvases and does wonderful work with them. So I was inspired, and I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> so I'm going to be using kind of fall colors today. I've got gold and copper, mid-yellow, vermilion, scarlet, burnt sienna, and orange. I'm debating whether to tint the background. I don't want it as dark as the background I had on my little Four Seasons series. And by the way, that reminds me people wanted to see that. So let me quickly show you the four pieces. There's I have not yet varnished them. I was hoping to do that before I showed you, but you can imagine how pretty they'll be when they are. They do have a shiny varnish on them. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. This has some lovely gold in it, as does that one. Silver, and this one has a little a touch of gold. Anyway, they're on my website if anyone is interested. And now that I look at them, I'm thinking this would be really pretty large. So maybe my next one will be summer colors. Maybe I'll do one of each. I don't know. Okay, well, let me set those aside and get mixing my paints. And I shall return. Okay, I'm back. I just couldn't decide on a background color to tint this, so I'm going to go the safe route and keep it white. I have plenty of color here and um, I think it'll still look pretty. So here we go. Um, I did add a green because I just felt it needed the contrast and um, I wanted that there. And then I think I added crimson. I think I had that out before. I'm not sure what I showed you, but I will write everything down below in the description box. So I'm thinking of doing two curving lines that intersect. There we go. And the other one, whoops, <laughs> the other one maybe, let's see. I don't want them to intersect in the middle, so it'll be right about there. So here we go. And they're all touching four different sides. Okay, now what can I safely put next to that would be maybe gold. Or, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to add that little, maybe the yellow. So if anything, that will tone down the green. Mm -hmm. Now maybe gold. No, yes. <laughs> It's like a sports team thing right now, huh? Isn't that the Green Bay Packers, kind of, before I added the gold? All right, now, um, maybe some of this vermilion, or, no, this is orange, I think. Crimson. Kind 
pepper. And look at that. Uh, what do I have left? This is vermilion, I believe. That's how I did that drip there. <laughs> I'm going to kind of get rid of that, even though I may be blowing over that area. I'm going to get rid of, get rid of it. Okay. And now I'm going to use some more gold. Can't go wrong with gold. These paints are all the little um, paints I got from Gravy, that company I did the last video on, the, the uh, blue circular one. And it worked really well, I thought. The colors were nice and vivid. It's not dry yet, but I will show you quickly because I, oh no, I've got a big green blob here. Um, I used a uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This is a 2020 bottle, and maybe it changes from bottle to bottle, but I didn't have that crazy selling. Let me get it and show you. It's still quite wet, but, you know, just some nice selling. I'm happy with it. So using the same recipe same bottle with this one. Okay. Let's hope I didn't just waste a bunch of paint. <laughs> okay. Get my hair dryer set on low. Start with a short one here. Pretty. Very pretty. Even the green is working okay for me. Oh, that's lovely. Almost Christmassy looking. <laughs> the red and green, if it weren't for the orange. Okay, now let me continue and then I'll work on it a bit more here and there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I like it. I want to bring this. I'll bring something here to the edge, one of these two. I think I have more paint here. I'll bring that. Um, no, I kind of think that's pretty. I, I think I'll bring this one down to the edge. Mm 
Okay. I don't know that I want to do much more to it. I... I'm bothered by all that negative space. I never like when I go back in and blow out. Because to me, that looks washed out. I mean, it, there's so much going on. Sorry, I keep forgetting to turn my thing off. I always, I'm never crazy about when I go back in and blow something out more. Like that was a little washed out. But there's so much going on, the rest of it. I'm, I'm not concerned. I'm not going to try to fix it in any way. Uh, wow. Um, I think I might leave it. I'm trying to look at it from different orientations. If, if this is the bottom, that is very, very dramatic. This could be the bottom. I think I like it in the vertical orientation. Wow. Uh, and it's selling up nicely. Oh my gosh, I, I think I love it. Okay, let me bring you in for a closer peek. I'm glad I stuck with just the white background. I think it's it's great. It's not competing with the uh, colors in any way. The colors are just luscious. Nice little sprinkling of cells. I like them just that size. Yeah, um, through the camera at this angle, it, it looks a little off balance, but in real life, I think it's I think it's good. Um, through the camera, it appears that this area is much larger than it is. But I'm, I'm happy with it. And when you see the picture of it dried from the um, orientation I like, I, I think you will like it too. Woo! Well, that was fun. That's the biggest thing I've done in the way of a Dutch pour. And I have Naomi to thank for the inspiration so thank you, Naomi, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Bye now. P.S. Well, you know how I can't leave well enough alone, but I'm happy with uh, one tiny little addition I did. I took my skewer, and I just made tiny little trailing um, forms on some of the odd-shaped petals. Let me show you. Here, for example, there's a couple, and there's one there. Over here, I mean, they're so minor that maybe no one will even notice them, but I just think they add a little tiny artistic flair to the piece. There's another one. And actually, I did it to disguise some little spots that I didn't care for. And I'm very happy with it. So, for what it's worth, just a tiny little P.S. And now I'm really done. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. Goodbye.